As fall turns to winter and rain turns to snow, we must keep a close eye on the things we hold close. Or they might be lost within the layers of white, buried for years to come. These are the top 10 mysterious things found in the snow. And hey, if you've lost something to the unforgiving depths of winter, tell us about how much you miss it in the comments below. Number 10. A nice drink. The Shackleton expeditions to Antarctica were, to put it kindly, a nightmare. Their ship, the Endurance, was flash frozen in an ice flow, and when faced with the realization that they'd have to wait for half a year for the ice to thaw, they attempted to free it. This, of course, led to the ship's hull being breached, and the crew was ordered to escape onto the flow. For the next two months, they'd live on the ice flow, drifting through the sea on a slowly melting barge, and when it was clear that it would no longer support them, they escaped on the recovered lifeboats to Elephant Island. How did they last? Well, in in 2011, five boxes of McKinley's whiskey were found abandoned in Antarctica, remnants of the ship's cargo. The funny thing? A hundred years later, and the alcohol it was still somewhat intact. It is, unfortunately, illegal to drink. Number 9. Otzi Sometimes known as the Iceman, this mummy was discovered by explorers of the Otzil Alps. As Europe's oldest known mummy, Otzi provided a look into the past like none other other had, allowing a view of what a Copper Age human looked like. However, that's not the only thing Otzi provided us with. Oh no, he also provided us with a story. Otzi didn't just die in the snow, his life was clearly taken from him by violent means, as his body contains evidence of wounds left by arrows and other weapons. Does that mean we can finally figure out who perpetrated such a crime? N probably not, no. Number eight. Bodies. When the Suffolk County Police Department received a terrified call for help from the 24-year-old Shannon Gilbert, an investigation was launched once it had been determined that she had disappeared. Months later, on December 11, 2010, a body was discovered buried in the snow by investigators along Ocean Parkway. There were two odd things about this body, the first being that it wasn't Shannon, but a woman by the name of Melissa Barthelemy. The second odd thing was that she wasn't the only one. As the investigation continued, more bodies were discovered along the parkway. The remnants of Maureen Brenard, Megan Waterman, Amber Costello, Jessica Taylor, Valerie Mack, and four more unidentified bodies as well. In 2011, a year after her disappearance, the body of Shannon Gilbert was finally found, much unlike her killer. Number 7. Plants During the Cold War, the world was split in two, east and west. Named so for its secrecy, a massive number of secret operations were launched by both sides in an attempt to undermine the other and gain the upper hand. One of these was Project Iceworm, where the US planned to install nuclear launch sites within Greenland. Due to the instability of the ice, the project was cancelled and abandoned. As scientists recently began to re-examine the camp due to pending environmental catastrophe possibly releasing contaminants trapped within the ice, in 2016 they returned. But they found something else else, fossilized plants from millions of years in the past. With the current rate of melting in the sediment, these fossils have become re-exposed to the world, life from the past returning to the future. Number 6. A Cat When Bubba the Cat's owners let their pet out of the house in January, he never came home. Expecting the worst, they presumed the feline had been lost to the elements, or worse, local coyotes. A common problem for their residence on Prince Edward Island. Winter continued with around 3 meters of snow falling in the area, but one of the owners began to hear the sound of faint meowing. Attempting to locate the source led the owner to begin digging under the patio, where they found Bubba alive after 40 days of exposure. The owners theorized that the cat's weight mixed with the melting snow and possible mice may have allowed for his survival. But Either way, Bubba returned home safe, sound, and likely disinterested in leaving for at least a couple days. Number 5. A Book 
Robert Scott was an explorer who led two expeditions to Antarctica, the latter becoming the one he was best known for, the Terra Nova expedition. Just like the Shackleton expedition, it did not go very well. The ship sank, and Scott refused to eat the ponies they'd brought, which was noted as a major mistake. From there, things only went worse. The group dissolved, all passing away in the snow. Long after their bodies were recovered, Scott's notebook was discovered in 2015, detailing the events of the tragic expedition in explicit detail, the pages perfectly preserved for almost a century after its writing. Number 4. A Pretty Cool Rock When a team of scientists were searching through the desolate Allen Hills of Antarctica, they found something beyond their wildest dreams. Dubbed Allen Hills 84001, this rock weighed in at about 4.5 pounds, was slightly ovular, and generally pretty aesthetically pleasing. Oh, and uh, it, it also came from Mars. Yet yeah, not only that, that, but a decade later, scientists studying this rock would find a cluster of microscopic fossils contained within, providing evidence for life having potentially existed on the Red Planet. However, these claims were refuted as the scientific community generally found that these features didn't require other life to be present for them to have been made. Nevertheless, this cool rock was a leap forward for astrobiologists worldwide, reigniting that age-old question, could there really be life? out there. Number 3. A Plane In 1942, terrible weather forced the 94th Fighter Squadron to return to Greenland from Operation Bolero. Landing in an ice field, the crew put out a rescue call, and while their soldiers were rescued, their aircraft weren't. Eventually, they were buried beneath 268 feet of snow. Half a century later, the Greenland Expedition Society would recover one of these aircraft, specifically the Glacier Girl, a Lockheed P-38F lightning. One decade of restoration later, and the Glacier Girl took to the skies once more. Already, another operation is underway to recover another one of the Glacier Girl's siblings, the Echo, and soon the entire family might take to the skies again. Number 2. More Cool Rocks When a French climbing enthusiast made his way to Mont Blanc in 2013, likely he was searching for adventure, or an achievement with which he might be able to regale his grandchildren with. What he ended up finding was categorically worth more than that. As he approached the summit, the man observed a small metal box emerging from the snow. Opening the box, he was shocked to discover a collection of green jewels, which, when examined, were found to be worth around 160,000 United States dollars. This alpinist, being knowledgeable of the area, presumed the box might have belonged to one of the two Indian flights that had crashed in the area. He then returned the stones to the authorities hoping to see them returned to the relatives of whoever had possessed them. But in 2021, when no relatives could be found, the jewels were split evenly between the climber and the local council. Generosity pays off. Seriously. Number 1. Something Drilling for ice in the Antarctic is a brutal endeavor to undertake. It requires discipline, determination, and preparation beyond all measure. Spending three months in the frozen wasteland, geologist James Smith and his colleagues had spent all of their efforts to slowly break through the ice with high-tech equipment and precise measurements. Once they broke through the shelf, their next task was to collect sediment, which took hours for just one sample, but they kept coming back empty-handed. Reviewing the footage from the collection camera, Smith realized that they drilled into water, but when they kept going down, they found something else. Something that didn't make sense. Something alive. Sending the footage to his biologist colleague in Britain, they confirmed that they'd found something that had been alive in the ice for an impossible amount of time, with just barely enough of the conditions for it to survive in an ecosystem. Somehow. The question of how they ate is still undetermined, as, again, they were buried underneath half a mile of ice. Though it's determined that, though it's theorized that some currents might have pushed food their way. Just enough to live, and with the total amount of space explored underneath the entirety of the Antarctic being equivalent to the size of about a single tennis court, it's likely that there might even be more. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a good one.